from Genesis Nation. Uh, we are here with a uh, longtime friend and colleague that uh, the former Life University guys right here. And uh, Dr. Rob Hannipal with Laser Masters and Relief Now Laser Methods. I'm super excited to talk with, can I call you Dr. Rob? Is that okay? Yeah. That's what Dr. You're... Rob, Rob. It's Rob. all fun. All right, cool. All fun. We're we're all we're all good, just friends here talking mm -hmm. talking awesome mm -hmm. business and helping patients. So, uh, one of the cool things that I've learned about you is that uh, you have a you're concerned with helping patients, which is which is great. It's not just, you're not just all business. You run a great business. You provide a great opportunity for chiropractors to build a cash uh, based revenue stream out of their practice, and you're doing great work for the patients. So, laser masters. So, tell me, Rob, what Tell me about lasers. Give me, give me, give me like the background, not the, not the super uh, geeked out science, but give me the, the high level science behind sure. it. Sure. All right. Well, when lasers first came out, I mean, years ago, you know, I was, uh, you know, one of the, let's say the early adopters, you know, I had a laser called the, the micro light 830 or something like that, literally 90 milliwatts, but it was fascinating, you know, in terms of the way that it was uh, working. You know, there was a study done with, um, I think they used it for um, a study for uh, General Motors on carpal tunnel. <laughs> Excuse me, I'm all choked up about this, but carpal tunnel patients. And I know you're emotional about this. It's yeah, okay. Yeah, I, I, I actually do get emotional about it. I'll talk to you about that in a minute. But be in any carpal, way, brother. <laughs> carpal tunnel, uh, I think it was like 2,000 participants, and they actually got very good results. And that's with a 90 milliwatt laser. But um, I was always kind of a geek when it came to like quantum physics and, and laser just fascinated me. And so, you know, I went, you know, and, and I was using this and getting, you know, pretty good results. But as the technology kept on improving and as they kept on, you know, um, you know adding more power to the lasers, um, you know, I, I don't want to get into the whole debate between, you know, the lower powered lasers and the higher powered. I'm a huge advocate. Of, of the higher class four power lasers because I've seen the most unbelievable results. Um, but we were just getting great results with the patients and I added higher powered lasers to the practice. And then I just kind of had, had uh, kind of like one of those epiphanies, right? I realized, wait a second, a lot of people are coming here just for laser, not necessarily for chiropractic. And the laser really lends itself to a business model, it's not just a piece of equipment. Mm. You know, like like I realized I can actually have a, a a laser pain center, but I really couldn't open up the hydroculator pack center, or I really couldn't open up you know the electric muscle stim center. Yeah. It's not going to work. Right. But laser lends itself because down the street from my office, there's the Laser Eye Institute. You had the laser, um, uh, you know, the Laser Spine Institute. Um, the word laser and the technology and, you know, just the thought that, you know, people bring to the word lends itself actually to a business model and realize that I was doing so much better when I started making that shift and changing that to, uh, you know, adding a laser pain center in my office than just being a chiropractor with a laser. Mm. It's, it's completely, completely different. And you could be a chiropractor with a laser and you can do just fine. But you can, you know, be a chiropractor and actually have a separate business model for laser and you can do exceptional, you know, um, when it comes to, you know, how lasers work, uh, it's pretty simple. You know, the term uh, being used today is photobiomodulation, it used to be called photobiostimulation, um, you know, red light therapy, infrared therapy, but, you know, photobiomodulation seems to be the term of the day. And basically what the laser does is it penetrates very deep into the tissue. We use surgical powered lasers, but it's not gonna cut or cauterize or destroy anything because the handpiece and the lens actually spread the light. Okay. But because of the power, you get a very, very deep penetration in a short period of time. And it really helps to get rid of pain, swelling, inflammation, and actually to you know regenerate and repair tissue at the cellular level. I mean, that's, you know, that's that's the um, the easy way to explain it, you know. And and one of the ways I explain it to the patients also is that uh, laser is an energetic form of regenerative medicine. Awesome. So you know we're going to give you a dose of laser energy versus a dose of you know uh, chemistry. 
Okay. So in essence, my 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 curiosity is uh, starting to peak here and jump up. So I got a couple questions. One, you know, laser, the L being standing for light. I forgot what the whole acronym is. I, I didn't do my research. I apologize. But um, so our, in essence is the laser. So class four laser is the one that you suggest. I cold. love class four laser. Yeah, I get great the, results. That's a cold laser. Now, I, I've gotten results with class 3B lasers, cold lasers, but more on superficial issues. Okay, like skin and, uh, rashes, things like that. Okay. One of my best, most miraculous cases was a nurse that came in. She had um, two diabetic ulcers on um, on toes. And she actually came to the office with tears rolling down her face, crying, upset, emotionally distraught, because she was told that she had to have two toes amputated. Uh, and I actually used the lower power laser, okay, um, you know, for that. And just because lower power, less penetration. No, just because I didn't have high power at the time. Oh, okay. <laughs> Got uh, it. I had a higher powered, lower power laser at the time. Okay. So it, it was my it was my progression, you know? Yes. And um literally, well, first of all, after the first treatment, she comes back a day later and we noticed a change. We both said it at the same time, you know, the ulcers look different. They went from kind of like a dull look to almost like like a little sheen, a little you know shininess. And you know, I reasoned, well, maybe that's a little granulation tissue. You know, maybe we 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 uh, stimulated the healing process. I literally wasn't sure, but I knew something was different. Um, nine treatments later, completely healed. Awesome. She didn't have to have her toes no, amputated. And no amputation. That is no. cool. No, so, so now we're I mean we're doing a lot of work with neuropathy cases right now with laser. Fantastic, which yeah, because it's it's such a difficult condition to treat. We'll right. Talk about that when we jump into the conditions that you're actually, you know, that you have protocols for. So I'm excited to hear about those. Sure. Um, just a general question on lasers. Are they working by oxygenating tissue? Are they actually breaking up scar tissue? Like what's the the higher level science behind this? Obviously, we can we can go down the rabbit hole, which we're not gonna today. So I, but just, just from a higher level perspective, like if a patient- the above, Yeah, yeah, it definitely, you know, um, uh, more oxygenation of the tissue, uh, vasodilation, you know, so it doesn't increase circulation. Um, what really happens is the chromophores or, or light receptors of the cells, because all the cells have chromophores. Mm -hmm. And the way I explain it to patients is those are like solar panels for the cell. Okay. Awesome. Yeah. And the one that we're specifically targeting is called cytochrome C oxidase. Okay. That is at the level of the mitochondria. And if you remember biology class, you know, whenever we think of mitochondria, everyone always blurts out, oh, the power plants of the cell. Exactly. Okay. Yeah. So what happens is they get absorbed by the chromophores at the level of the mitochondria. And then the mitochondria start producing more ATP or more energy. Awesome. Okay. So that's the simple explanation. So you're taking cells that, let's say it's a chronic issue. Um, our body's made of what, 50 you know, trillion cells, okay? Yeah. You know, I mean, trillions and trillions of cells. The cells in the body are basically batteries, okay? Yeah. And when you have, we have an injury, um, those batteries are, are suboptimal. They need a charge. They're not functioning properly. There's no healing going on. Yeah. So what the laser is doing is it's actually getting those cells to produce more energy, taking suboptimal cells and getting them to function optimally so that you can actually stimulate the healing process. Love it. Stimulate regeneration. You can stimulate, you know, repair. Um, listen, we used to do a lot of uh, PRP in the office and some stem cell treatments. I don't even do it anymore. I just find seeing, that just seeing with, like the results here. That's I found that with laser, I don't need to do that. I find that again, it's really an energetic form of regenerative medicine. Very cool. And and really, uh, as summarizing, you're you're recharging or getting those mitochondria in the damaged and injured and and chronic repetitively scarred tissue to start producing more ATP, which gets that whole biological cascade tissue right. start to heal. And it will soften up scar tissue. It will definitely soften up scar tissue. Now, now, if you want to take it a step further, you know, you can use a little shockwave therapy. You know, and really break up those adhesions, uh, you know, and stimulate neovascularization. But the laser will do some of that too. I mean, you know, um, uh, it will it will stimulate neovascularization. Um, you know, it's not going to break up, uh, you know, calcifications or anything like that. And if you need to do that, obviously, there's other uh, tools that you, you could use in conjunction with the lasers 
That's why we developed the Relief Now Laser methods. Okay. Yeah. So and that integrates because like my brain is just saying, all right, like if I'm getting the tissue to heal, now we can do better postural alignment, more functional movement, and the body right. will start to adapt quicker. Right. But in many cases, I would say 90%, let's say 85 to 90% of the patients, I just need to use laser. Okay. Mm -hmm. um, but there are some patients that I will incorporate, you know, some other modalities that I think, uh, you know, would be beneficial, but I always have laser at center stage. That's awesome. Cause the, you know, I was a CBP practitioner and we used laser as well in my clinic. So we use that for the pain relief, but then we're able to move forward with better posture sure. from there. Um, what's the difference between like far infrared, I'm sitting in the sauna getting that. Is that considered laser? Like the, the infrared light that you're getting? Like what, what's the difference there? Yeah. So when you're talking about laser, um, we're typically, you know, we're really talking more about power, you know, okay. and, and energy. So like you could have uh, 810 nanometers in a, you know, one of those wraps, like from like Tommy Copper or something like that. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> okay. I mean, you could have the same wavelengths. You could have a, a you know infrared wavelengths, near infrared wavelengths, far from wavelengths, but it, then it depends upon how much power and how focused it is. Okay? So obviously, in a sauna, you're not getting as much power, and it's right. Well, we use something called um, a DNA Vibe, which I think is a great product um, that patients like can take home with them. And we also use them in the office on some of the patients with neuropathy. But there's there are these. Uh, pads that you can wrap around the joints. Okay. But they're, they're very high quality. They're built really nice, but it's very, very low energy. But it combines, uh, you know, two wavelengths, okay? Uh, one in the 600 nanometer uh, range, which is more of the red light, and one in more of the near infrared, which would be invisible. Uh, it combines that with, with a little, uh, with a light PEMF, light, you know, pulse electromagnetic frequency, mm -hmm. and then a micro vibration. And, you know, I love using those, you know, at home. My wife is using it last night, actually. And uh, that's, you know, just, that's just a take-home tool. That's part of your methods. That's Yeah, you know, and sometimes we use it in the office. Uh, again, I think, for instance, on some of the neuropathy patients, after we've done a round of high-power deep tissue laser, we do, we do use some of the lower energy, you know, some of the lower power devices in conjunction with. But that's, that's you know, a complete method you know, that, that we, we perform in the office. Okay. So now, now it's a good segue into methods because you've got sciatic relief now, plantar fasciitis relief now, rotator cuff relief now, knee pain relief now, and then probably any condition we can think of, you're using lasers. And I'm sure I know you're a scientist and you're trying it on every condition that comes I in. would say I'm a scientist. Yeah. I'm definitely not a scientist. Well, <laughs> I'm, I'm just, I'm just very, uh, um, Experiment. <laughs> yes. Well, you're curious and I, I'm curious, but your curiosity yeah. is not only helping patients, it's helping it's helping other professionals. I mean, you're at the tip of the spear of laser. So first of all, thank you for that. And, uh, you know, cause you're helping push our profession forward in ways that, um, you know, although it's not chiropractic per se, it's such a great adjunct to, to doing chiropractic. And I think it's a, it's a phenomenal tool. Um, well, I think it goes very well with chiropractic. I mean, I don't know, you know, I mean, I, I may insult some people here, but I don't know who said that, you know, the only thing a chiropractor can do is, is you know, is just adjust because I mean, I think it was BJ Palmer you know, that uh, the developer of chiropractic that actually had a, a PT center. Yep. Yeah. Okay. So I don't know where we, we get this notion that, you know, the only thing we could do is adjust and and then, you know, take it a step further, just to you know, adjust subluxations. Um, that's all important. I talk to my patients about that all day long, but if you want to be in the real world, okay. What I realized was that Maybe 15% of the population sees chiropractors, you know, so right. why do we limit ourselves to reaching 15% or less of the population when there's another 85% of the population that we can help if we could just get them in our office? And through the door. Yeah. Through the door. So what, what, what really happens and how this helps chiropractic is that they'll come in through the laser side because they're not thinking about chiropractic at all. Yeah. Okay. You know, the, the things that happen with our, you know, our program per se is that we're getting patients in the door that in this lifetime or their past lifetime or next lifetime, whatever you believe, <laughs> never, ever, ever, ever 
step foot in the chiropractic office. Because the truth of the matter is, no matter you know what we want to believe, there still is a stigma. I've experienced it actually recently um, in my hometown. You know, I live in, I live in uh, Boca Raton, Florida, and in two separate occasions within the last two weeks, I heard that term. Oh, he's a real doctor. This yeah. person's a real doctor, but not in a purposeful derogatory way. It's just how people think. It just kind of comes out of their mouth. It's like the, the, collect- one- the collective idea out there outside of. Right. So we got to get out of our little bubble and realize, like, let's live in the real world. OK. Um, and, you know, I address both of those issues and I don't think those have to, people will ever say that again. <laughs> um, but, you know, I realize you know, that that's, you know, whether I like it or not, it's still reality. Now, we've been gaining a lot of market share. You know, my background is marketing and management consulting and positioning and branding and all this kind of stuff prior to chiropractic. So, you know, I look at it through these eyes. I would say I'm more of a uh, more of a marketing person than a scientist, you know? Yeah. Um, but, you know, still, really, still with, a, with the foundation of curiosity. <laughs> with the foundation of curiosity, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah right, exactly. So yeah. what happens is we're getting these patients coming in that would never go to a chiropractor, okay? And they actually come to my office and they'll even say things like, oh, you do chiropractic here too? All right. And then I know, oh, we're doing this right. Yeah. Um, And then they also realize that, you know, I'm not a three-headed monster and I'm not going to, you know, I'm not going to tear their head off or, you know, I mean, they see these videos on YouTube and, you know, as much good as they're doing, there's also some damage because, you know, people think, you know, you're going to rip their their neck off or something. So. You know, um, they realize that, you know, we treat our patients very well and the care is gentle and they may even, you know, actually approach us and say, you know what, can I try that chiropractic, you know? So, so it's kind of getting them to come in, people that would never go to a chiropractor anyway, but now they're getting chiropractic care because obviously everything goes better with an adjustment. Yeah. Okay? No matter what you're doing, whether it's laser for, you know, for the ring finger, going to go better with an adjustment right because you know you still want to address you know uh you know the, the c8 nerve root right yeah okay uh you know c6 c7 c8 you want to address that lower cervical spine um so so no matter what you're doing an adjustment always you know could be helpful the other thing that happens is and this is crazy because this happens all the time is that we'll have patients coming in that already have other chiropractors mm. and they'll say things like and they don't even realize they don't even realize like that's what we do also even though you know we have our signage and everything because their mindset you know when your mindset is just a certain you know they're thinking laser they're not thinking chiropractic they'll say things like oh is it okay if i go see you know dr jones later you know for my adjustment you know after you did my laser treatment and we'll say yeah, of course it is you know and then they may even say well you do it here too you know maybe you know i'll just stay here we never take them from the other doctor but right. if they inquire about it you know i mean we're happy to see them um you know but but i find that to be fascinating i'll even go to my front desk and say would you believe i mean again this is another patient that it, that we would never ever be able to help we'd never be able to treat we wouldn't be doing any you know business with them okay if it wasn't for laser because they already have another chiropractor yeah All right um third thing is patients will travel a much further distance mm. all right uh this past year we've had multiple patients come from i practice in south florida so from the bahamas wow. uh, specifically for laser That's um cool. we've had patients come from other islands we've had patients come down from canada um and i actually think one of the most uh, amazing cases was a patient that was driving from orlando florida which is three hours from my office three times a week his name was Bruce. And I said, I said, Bruce, I'm sure I can find a laser for you. And I actually can because one of the members of our group is in Orlando. Yeah. I, said, I can find a laser for you closer to you. And he said, no. He says, you know, I see that you're a specialist. I want to come see you. So what happens is people will travel further. It's like, you know, God forbid, you know, one of our family members had a major heart condition. You know, we wouldn't just go to the most local doctor we would go to the specialist the expert yeah i would travel to cleveland for cleveland clinic or the mayo clinic you know you go to the expert so we pitch we position doctors as expert authorities with what we provide them okay and then lastly and not least is that as much as we know that we can treat shoulders and knees and ankles and feet and you know 
the public still thinks when they hear chiropractic, they it, it's synonymous with back and neck. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. And as much as we tell them we can help your shoulder or we can help, yeah, some of them will get some treatment. But really, what our program does is it actually now creates a non-surgical, drug-free, you know, orthopedic center in the office. So patients are coming for more like non-surgical orthopedic conditions because they're coming in for the relief now, you know, for their laser center, not for the chiropractic center, which again, the patients still think back and neck. I think chiropractors are back and neck doctors. Yep. We know that's not the case. Correct. We know it helps back and neck pain, right? But, yeah. you know, you want to go further and further into it. Obviously, you know, we're really, I always say, you know, the more accurate term for chiropractor would be holistic neurologist. Hmm. I like that, man. That's yeah. good. Yeah. So do you, have you actually witnessed patients coming off opioids using lasers? We've had patients that definitely reduce, reduce the medications. Um, I don't know, uh, completely eliminating, but we have an alignment with Face the Music Foundation. And Face the Music Foundation is a foundation that is set up specifically to help uh, people that suffer from drug addiction, primarily from pain medication, mm. to receive uh, treatment at really great qualified centers. They're aligned with um, uh, Recovery Unplugged. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Recovery yeah. Unplugged. Yeah. They use music yes. uh, as part of the treatment. And one of the founders of Recovery Unplugged is a former member of Aerosmith. Yeah. Uh, and he's a Grammy-winning songwriter. He also wrote songs for Pink. And I think he, he co-wrote with Bon Jovi and Richie Sambora and amongst others. And we're really good friends. And uh, he loves laser. I do, I'm laughing inside because we got a lot of younger Kairos. And hopefully, you know, they throw some Bon Jovi on their Spotify <laughs> and, and you know, a lot of the younger people I have young, yeah, I have 20 year old and 21 year old, you know, kids and they listen to a lot of our, our music. Well, I mean, it's, and it's been around for 30, 40 years. I never listened to my father's music, right? <laughs> I never listened to Benny Goodman or anything. <laughs> I, I did listen to a little bit of Elvis, but now that's yeah. more reason. Um, but, so, so as far as, um, you know, turning this into a business system, lasers are self pay. They're outside of the insurance model, which is, I think is a, a huge plus, I don't, I don't ever want to see them covered by insurance because we know that ruins the, the it just waters it all down. So can you talk a little bit about the Relief Now laser, not the methods per se, because we could go down that rabbit hole another time. I'd rather just, you know, an overview of what it looks like to yeah. join the laser masters and, and what kind of what kind of um, benefits you get there. As yeah, so the, be the beauty of it is that it is not insurance based. OK, and we just created another method. Uh, which is the disc decompression relief now laser method. And we trademarked the term with one word, uh, laser disc mm. decompression. Awesome. And, and I've been posting on my Facebook page, you know, a picture of our table. So we bought a really nice table and they actually branded it with the laser disc, not surgical laser disc decompression. And I've been actually getting texts and calls from other doctors that I didn't have like, you know, past relationships with, uh, you know, and hey, where'd you get that table from? And, you know, it's it's one of the tables that are sold all over the place, but because we branded it, it looks completely different. Okay, awesome. Okay, and now what we're doing is we, we, you can actually do decompression on this table in the prone position, mm -hmm. with a, a harness that has a hole in the back. So while we're getting decompression, you could be doing laser at the same time, get true laser disc decompression. That's awesome. Yeah. Can can the class four laser that you're using, like, do we know that it penetrates to the depth of the disc or within that level? Yeah. Well, I mean, it, you know, it also has secondary and tertiary effects, you know, so like one cell affects another cell affects another yeah. cell. Yeah. So, but yeah, they, but they do penetrate very deep. That's why I like the power because with the more power, you know, you are going to get that, that bright, you know, that light penetrating deeper. And awesome. right now I'm, I'm even looking at, um, you know, getting another laser. We actually have our own branded laser now. It's okay. a beautiful 45 watt three wavelength laser. It's really, I mean, it's super powerful. Um, we call it the we call it the prodigy. Okay. And for the price of that laser, I'm not gonna name any other laser companies, but I know a lot of guys that are spending forty, fifty thousand dollars plus on 27 watt lasers. Um, our laser is 45 watts and it's under 20,000. Okay. Wow. So yeah, it's great. But so, uh, if I'm a doc, 
doc. You are if I'm talking. I, yes, and I am, and I and I want to start a and I want to start a laser center. Right. Um, how do I do that? Like, what's okay. that process look like with you? Okay, so our system is really comprehensive. I have to say that there's a couple franchises. There's one franchise coming out right now um, from one of the laser companies. But again, you're talking about a couple hundred thousand dollar buy-in. Mm. And there's also a franchise that's out there for orthopedic surgeons specifically with class four lasers. Really? But the class four laser that they're using literally is 3.3 watts per diode. Okay. Give me, uh, you know, give me some comparison there. That's, that's Greek to me. Yeah. Okay. So 3.3. So basically, I'm sorry, it's 1.1 watt per diode. It's 3, 3.3 watts total. Whereas, you know, we're using lasers that are, I have a doctor that uses a 60 watt laser. Wow. Okay. So our, the, the one power. we're coming out with is 45 watts. So the power that this, this orthopedic uh, franchise using is very, very minimal. Correct. Okay. Correct. And again, there's certain, you know, there's arguments, you know, either way, but I personally found in my practice that when I use higher power, I get better results. Okay. okay. Great. Um, but basically, you know, so what we do is the reason why I'm mentioning these franchises is because we're, we're giving our doctors so much more, in my opinion, that these franchises are and for so much less. OK, you know, those franchises, it's like buying into a Subway or a Jersey Mike's or, a, yeah. you know, some some you know type of, where it's hundreds of thousands of dollars. And I tell our doctors, you, you don't need to spend that much, we're giving you as much or actually more. Um, and our whole, you know, our whole, uh, what we're doing is we wanna provide the doctors with so much more value than what they're paying. Yeah. That we're gonna be friends for life, okay? Because over the last two weeks, I spoke to, I speak to our members all the time. But I, I one question I always ask is, you know, how are you doing now cash wise, private pay wise? compared to you know, what you were doing last year this time. And the overwhelming majority, I have guys that are breaking records. We have a private WhatsApp chat for our doctors. And, and one of the guys, you know, he just broke, he broke his daily record yesterday. Awesome. Um, I, have, I have one doctor that, that almost quadrupled his practice. Mm. Okay. He, he collected, um, and he just posted it yesterday. He collected $110,000 last month with only $5,000 of insurance. So wow. he collected one hundred and five thousand dollars private it, pay. That's amazing. And, and and they credit, you know, uh, Laser Masters uh, and Relief Now Laser Methods, uh, you know, to this. I was talking to a doctor um, a week and a half ago in the Philadelphia area. His pri practice primarily, historically, has always been workers' comp, personal injury. Yep. You know, all insurance based. Even has three decompression tables, but just build it as traction. Okay wasn't maximizing you know what he was doing and um he said i said how were you doing you know prior to working with us and he said well yeah i was collecting about three thousand a month cash that's it okay he says i'm on track this year now to do five hundred thousand not a month but for the year but that's right. a huge it's a huge <laughs> job yeah okay? yeah so I mean, you know, our, our guys are doing really thousand well. thousand is a is a pretty big jump. So, what a, what do doctors do they get marketing? Right, they get everything. Protocols, marketing protocols, weekly uh, chats or groups. Right. So you're, you're talking about methods or, or things that work and don't work. Right. So this is what they get. Okay. First of all, we have a national directory, uh, reliefnowlaser.com. Every doctor gets put on that directory and we're doing, you know, optimization of that. So we can hopefully help, you know, them, uh, you know, get, get uh, calls and things like that. But I have to say, you know, we're not a lead generation company. Yeah. You know, if someone's looking for a lead generation company, you know, they hire one of these companies and just get leads. And I would say we're more of a really building the practice from a holistic standpoint. Okay. Because we have all those resources for our doctors. So what they get is they get the national directory Every one of our doctors actually gets their own Relief Now website. And then we teach them to create a laser paint, a laser paint center within their office. So it's all based upon what town they're in, okay? So, yeah. you know, let's say they're in West Orange, New Jersey. It would be West Orange Laser Paint Center along with, uh, you know, um, um, Smith Chiropractic, okay? okay? So they got their chiropractic side and their laser side. Two separate identities under one roof. I always say it's like the Dunkin' Donuts, Baskin Robbins model. Okay, yeah. Yeah. two separate identities, two two offerings. When you're going for coffee, you don't necessarily want ice cream. You know, 
but you know you're 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 doing more business and attracting more people than just for one offering. Okay, so we teach them how to do that. So they get the website. Their websites um, have a portal on them, a password protected portal, and in the portal, there's it's a business in a box. Okay, mm -hmm. so all the training. All, all of the staff training, laser training, they all get certified through the American Institute of Medical Laser Applications. They get to print out certificates for them. They can do it for their staff. Um, laser research, I mean, hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of, you know, studies, PubMed, you know, um, you know all verified studies. Um, we have an icon there for all past Zoom calls because we do Zoom calls every two weeks and then we record them. Uh, everything from treatment to marketing to office experience, you name it. You know, the last Zoom call we did last Tuesday was all on knees. And three of our members uh, did a great job. We have one guy that does a lot with the neon track and laser. We have another doctor that is McKenzie certified uh, and does a lot of knee work. And then another one that has a, a table, um, a decompression table that you also can attach the knees to is explaining. So, Really what we've created is, is a great community and collaboration where all the doctors are helping each other. Well, it's we have, and that network just keeps rippling yes. out when you add individuals who are doing, basing their life on being curious as, as you yeah. know, as doctors and, and they're like continually like pushing the envelope with this stuff. This is awesome. Yeah. Well, I mean, in essence, it's like, you know, you've got a plug and play where I can take this with an existing office join your group and then 100%. put that without having to spend a hundred thousand dollars on a franchise and we have all right we're a licensing model not a franchise and so we don't take a percentage of monthly gross revenue there's not a hundreds of thousands of dollars buy-in it's not even a thousand dollar buy-in okay i'll get to that in a second but you know and also we have on the portal um all the marketing resources so whether they want to do social media marketing, social, you know, uh, search engine optimization, we have TV commercials, uh, public relations, we have a book program, a bunch of the doctors, you know, have become nationally published authors of their own books on laser. Okay. You know? Great. So we have everything. And then we also have links to uh, the printer to get all of the office posters and brochures. And I mean, anything that you can think of is done or is being done we're actually coming out with a line of nutritional laser support products right now mm. okay. so we just came out we just got the samples in we have um nerve joint disc uh and two multis with the relief now branding so the doctors are getting the benefit of of the continued you know increased equity the relief now brand that's growing yeah and supplements have the relief now brand on there so when the patients are taking these daily, you know, subconsciously, you know, in their mind is always that connection to the doctor's office. Yeah. Yeah. Okay? yeah, yeah. So it, it's completely plug and play anything they can think of. The doctor doesn't have to do anything other than execute. Okay. And we, oh, we have this WhatsApp chat uh, with the doctors that literally, literally keeps me up at night. I have to, I have to turn the notifications off <laughs> my phone because people are excited. Well, you're just as excited though. Right? You're, you yeah. resist responding because I'll text you at whatever time. You're like, okay, let's talk business. Let's yeah. Talk. I you know, it. I love it. I mean, listen, I mean, you know, you want to do things that you love. I don't feel like I'm really working when I'm doing this. I feel like I didn't even get to it, but you know, we are, we have a movement. There's a purpose and our greater purpose again, is it's a trademark slogan. It is ditch the drugs and skip the scalpel. Love it. Okay. So really, all, all of our doctors, all of our members, we're, we all, we're all tied into that common purpose of how many patients can we save from uh, surgeries if they don't really need the surgeries, okay? Yeah. And how many patients can we help to reduce or eliminate their medications? So, I mean, this is, this is, why, we, this is why we're even into chiropractic, you know? I mean, this is what we believe in. Yeah. So there's a much higher purpose, a much bigger passion Right. So when my chat's going on at 12 o'clock, one o'clock in the morning, you know, there is a certain sense of satisfaction. But well, I, gotta, I'm not I know I can I can just text you on that group chat. Well, well not even just texting me. <laughs> guys, so, some days I don't even get involved. Yeah. They're texting each other. They're asking each other, hey, I have a patient that came in that has multiple sclerosis and also suffering from trigeminal neuralgia and some kind of skin condition. You know, 
what kind of settings are you using? How are you using? I mean, it's a collaborative effort and it really has become a culture. We also have a um, an independent clinical advisor. Mm. So if you have a really tough case and you're just not sure what to do, we have a doctor that gives CE credits all over the country, lectures all over the country on laser. Because again, I don't tout myself to be really the science expert. I just love the results of laser and I love creating the business model. I love being able to help more patients, but I'm not really a science guy. Yeah. You know? So yeah. we have a doctor that they reach out to. It's on, it's on the portal and you just type in, you know, I'm having this kind of case. This is what's going on. And within 24 hours, he gets back to you and explains to you how to treat. We also have, we have laser guides, you know, um, on there that just, you know, teach you about all these different protocols. We have multiple. Um, there is so much on the portal and there's so much information. That's why I say they're getting more than probably any franchise would ever give them. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Uh, and getting to the fees, it's pretty simple. The startup fee is three ninety seven. dollars uh, three ninety seven. Okay. Just to kind of get the, the website going and get you on board. You get... Um, you get welcome videos, you get a whole kind of like a quick start, you know, where to start and where to go. And then we start you at what's called the pro level, which is inclusive of one-on-one -on -one calls, okay, strategy calls. Uh, it also comes with a CRM, customer relationship management software, that is extremely comprehensive. Okay, so you can use it for laser, you can use it for the chiropractic practice, but you know, this is how it works. You know, a patient calls uh, and doesn't come in, boom, stick them in one bucket. They'll get all these follow up texts and emails. Patient, uh, you're, that's already um, established, like you've already yeah. created those. Okay, yeah. so you get yeah. those yeah. campaigns. If you come for a consult, they don't follow up, boom, put them in that bucket. Um, yeah, so, and again, but it's always being um, upgraded and, and tweaked, but they get the CRM. Uh, they get the calls. They get 3D consultation uh, included, which is an amazing software. It's great for consultations in the office. You can actually send patients videos of their condition. You know, let's say have a disc issue. You boom, you go to 3D consultation, text it to them, text it to their wife. Uh, it includes that. So, you know, a lot of doctors stay at that level. But after six months, they have the option to drop down to what we call the prodigy level from the pro level. Prodigy, they don't get the CRM, but they can get it separately. Um, and they don't get the weekly calls. And I would say it's about a 60-40 split. I'd say 60% of the doctors stay at the pro level because they just feel there's so much value and they enjoy the calls and they enjoy, and 40% will drop down. They still get the Zoom calls. They still get, um, they still get um, everything else that we're doing, all the resources, they still have the website, they're still on the directory. And, you know, it's $397 a month. That's it. Okay. The pro level is $997. All right. So the, there's minimal, you know, minimal you know, entry into actually having a whole business model. You don't have to spend $100,000, $200,000, yeah, even $50,000. Yeah. yeah I've, seen, I've seen those franchise models out there from decompression to visco supplementation, all that. So, yeah. Um, I do have to wrap us up, but um, this was so informative from science to uh, I'm and, and I love talking business and marketing with you. And like, thank, fun. thank you for sharing, you know, all this and our Genesis Nation listeners out there. If you, you know, we're going to put all of uh, Dr. Rob's info down below with late, just look up Relief Now Laser Method, uh, Laser Masters. Lasermasters.com. Yeah. And, and we'll we'll put all that down below. But um, you guys, guys and gals, please talk to Dr. Rob if this is if you're looking to put this licensing, you, you called it not a franchise system, but a licensing system, which is right. Which, which is a brilliant business model uh, to be able to bring more revenue to the door and help patients in a different way if it's something that you want to add into your practice. So um, thank you again for being at the tip of the spear, man. This is awesome for your uh I, I'm grateful for your curiosity and your business mind and and what you built here and and I'm excited to be to be part of the movement, man. Thank, Thank you. you. My pleasure. Yeah, it's a lot of fun. All right.